Behold the great divide that separates the illusion from the real. Embrace the power of the hour. Evolve, expand, and heal. Wholeness. Welcome to Runes of Silver Tree. This is Silver Tree here. And welcome to this beautiful, wonderful moment. I feel so happy and grateful to be able to share with you, um, especially today's reading. This is season two of The Red Serpent and episode four. And the title of this message this episode is a new timeline, a new currency. As always, in this introduction, I would like to recommend a beautiful, wonderful, powerful prophetess, beautiful woman, um, beautiful womb sister. Uh, her name is Sika, Darvat Sikasi. She is um, a wonderful, wonderful creator of solutions. Check out her YouTube channel Zen Wombs and Zen Wombs 2. The links are below to her channels. Also, I have started yet a third YouTube channel. As you all know, I have a music channel called SLVRTR. Um, so please check out my conscious music there. And also, um, this is the third um, YouTube channel. Um, that I've started. It's called Seeds of Silver Tree, where you get to know me more on a personal level, um, and you get to uh, explore um, my creative expression in a lot of do uh, DIY projects, uh, do-it-yourself projects, um, a lot of art, a lot of spiritual commentary. Um, so there's just, it's, it's a space where I can use this platform, um, you know, as long as I'm able to, <laughs> um, to just share and to create. Um, so that's my intention with the uh, third YouTube channel. So I welcome you there into that place. Let's get started in with today's reading. So for the vision today, for the vision um, I was shown a two-headed serpent, okay, all right, the red serpent showed me two, two mouths on each end, you know how, you know, and, um, usually that what makes up a serpent's body is the, the head and then the very smooth, um, long body and then its tail. And, but no, in this vision, there were two heads. And the phrase that came with this, the words that came was tug of war. And the two heads, one at each end, were struggling to go in one direction. And the other was struggling to go in the other direction. So one left, one right. And they, the, they both were unaware of each other. They both were unaware of, of, of the other's presence but they just felt this other energy pulling away as they're trying to go the opposite direction. And that is the energy of, of humanity. We're in this polarized, very extremely polarized um, state of being, right? There's always two, this dualistic polarized view, uh, experience, ways of thinking. And, um, and so this tug of war is coming to an end. This tug of war is coming to an end. And so it's, it's this polarity and this division, this one way or no way, this uh, black, white, you know, Democratic, Republican, um, yeah, uh, yes, no, left, right, like 
everything that we've all we've been programmed and it, it's been programmed in the in the the human consciousness for eons right for millennia you study the ancient texts and you see this 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 polarity this divine feminine and divine masculine you know it's the the issue is this dichotomy it's this this split right and so um, that's what was shown. The tug of war is over. Okay. That was, that's what I was shown. And it's the beginning of a new timeline and the beginning of a new currency. Let's dive into the analysis. So the, the poem or the channel's message that came through, I'll repeat again. Behold the great divide that separates the illusion from the real. Embrace the power of the hour. Evolve, expand, and heal. Now, in my last um, reading I did that I posted late Sunday, um, we touched on the concept of time a little bit because time is such a huge, huge thing, okay? It's a huge idea. It's a huge um, subject to dive into, especially when you're getting into metaphysics, okay? The metaphysical part of it. Um, but it showed up again in this reading. So yes, we all know the human collective are going through this great separation of what is real and what is unreal, what is illusion and, and what is make-believe that we're made to believe, okay? Make-believe. You're made to believe in this illusion. And so with this great separation, we have this open space to embrace the power of the hour, to embrace the power that is now, right? The book by Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. There's in this new timeline, there's space to explore, to expand, to embrace, to challenge, to question, to, to, to truly evolve, okay? And, um, and also evolution is a great and really large subject that, you know, it's, it's, it's always very mind bending and very heart bending, right? It's, it's a wonderful thing to get into. Um, and then evolve, expand and heal. So we can use the time now to heal. It's the it, it, great, my, my dear collective, it's, 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 it's now more than ever. And I can't tell you to not fear. I can't tell you that it's going to be easy. I can't tell you that everything is going to just fall magically into place. That would be unfair and it wouldn't be true. Um, all right. So yeah, let's get into the rune reading because I, I think I'm going to spend more time on the runes today than I usually would. Um, you know, I, dive deeper in the analysis but today when I pulled the runes it was very interesting the energies I got so for the energy vortex of the human collective for the thought for the mind of us the mind of the human collective I pulled the rune of energy focused energy mental focus one direction we have chosen on an individual level, we have chosen as a human co uh, collective. It's very, it's weird. It's like we, we make our individual choices all the time. And yet we're, all of our individual choices affect the collective. It affects us as a whole. And that's what's happening now. Whatever choice that you, you know, you decide to go up, go down, it affects the whole. And that's where we're at. We're in this space of focusing in on what do I want to do now? What do I want to create now? Um, or this is the direction I'm choosing at this point in my life. For those that are confused, I didn't get this like confusion, this chaos that tends to happen um, I think that the dust is finally settling and people are, are, are either agreeing to the illusion or they're like, wait a minute, you know, this isn't real or what is real. It's like they're making that decision to question now. Um, the now that's been jammed into our, our minds, our subconscious, 
all the programming, it's it's now at this point that people are focusing in and, and narrowing in on what is reality to them on an individual basis. Now you could say, well, Silver Tree, what do you mean? Because there's some people who choose to stay asleep and there's some people who choose the path of awareness. And yes, okay, yes, that's all part of it, but nothing is separate from the other. That's what I am. I feel in this message very strongly. Everything is one. If you go back to the vision, okay, where the two heads of the snakes were going in opposite directions, but the only thing that, that kept them in that struggle was that they were unaware of the other. They just felt this need to go the opposite direction, but they're ignorant of the other's presence. We are ignorant of, um, of each other, and that's what keeps us separate, right? It's, it's, it's very interesting. I think that the mentality of the human consciousness is so fragmented and so it's constantly butting heads because it just lacks the ignorance that all is one and nothing is separate from the other. The second rune that I pulled for the heart of the human collective is um, what the phrase that came up was heart of chaos or the alchemical connection. Now this rune, if you look at it closely, what does it look like? It looks like atoms. It looks like the um, an atom made up of neutrons and protons and electrons. And then you have um, these, little ang these little angles pointed towards that. I call this my rune of alchemy. Why? Okay. Those angles represent hands. It represents the mastery of manipulating energy. Energy, right, that if you take chemistry 101, everything is made up of energy, okay? So alchemy, what is alchemy? It is the study, the, 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 uh, the, um, you're able to manipulate energy in the elements, okay? So alchemy, uh, um, alchemy, this is what came through. We're tuning into the heart into our power, the power of the hour, what is true, okay? We are alchemists. We can shift or shift shape or shape shift, okay? Um, we can move things, manipulate energies through thought, through feeling, through action. If you choose to make, if you choose to connect the mind and heart into one, anything is possible. But if you if you get into that frequency of the of the the snakes going in opposite directions, that's the head and that's the heart. One one mouth, one head of the snake is going in one direction, the mind, and the other the heart, and they're both going just there. It's a tug of war. It's an it's an infinite tug of war, and that war is over. And if you choose to believe that that war is real and this separation of mind and heart. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You need to unify the mind and heart for nothing is truly separate. All is one. Next, I uh, pulled the rune um, of the broken cycle, new beginning, okay? And the phrase that came up was breaking of bread. Now, usually when you hear this phrase, breaking bread with someone, that means it's it's community, it's in deeper understanding, it's sharing, it's coming together, coming to understand something that's very profound. Oh, yeah, we're breaking bread together, right? It's a it's a brotherhood, it's sisterhood, it's it's everything coming into oneness. In this new understanding, letting go of, of an old timeline and embracing a new path, embracing a deeper understanding. Now, how is this connected to the body, to the physicality, to what is, you know, physical in our physical reality? And that's a very interesting question. I was a little stumped with this rune a little bit because I'm like, well, what does that have to do with our body? What does that have to do with the, the physical form, you know? Is it, does it mean that we break, we have to physically come together? You know, you keep, I keep hearing these, uh, these phrases thrown around in the, in the community, the spiritual community, you know, find your tribe, 
find your vibe, find your tribe and all this stuff and find your community. And that's kind of cheesy, but it's, there's truth in that. If you know your vibe, then you can find your tribe. If you can't tune in within yourself, within your own physical being, and know where you stand on a vibrational level with your own frequency, it's going to be very difficult to try to connect with the, the tribe that is the best fit for you. Because anyone that's saying, I can do everything on my own and I don't need anybody, you're lying, okay? That's part of the illusion. It's part of very Western culture is to believe that one can do everything on their own. I can build a village on my own. I can do this on my own. I can grow a whole field on my own. I can build a business on my own. No, you need people. You need connection. You need network. But the most important, important part is developing a deeper understanding of our interconnectedness and that all is one. When you realize that you are part of a whole and the whole is within you, then you can break out of that old cycle and you can walk a new path. And finally, we have <clears throat> the sigil. Now, I, um, I put all of the runes together here, okay? And I had to fidget with it a little bit, you know, until it intuitively felt right. But you can see, okay, you, there's a, there was an old timeline, an old way, okay, an old cycle that is now kaput. It is done. It's finished. And a new path is brewing, a current, a new current, a currency a currency, okay, you, we have access to it. And you can see in the middle, there's nothing there, but open space, open potentiality, open opportunity. There's no blocks. The broken arrows on each end, you can see though that's open doorway there and open doorway there at the top and the bottom. So there's openness to expand and evolve, okay? on this newness, this new, deeper understanding as a human collective of ourselves, what our true path is. This is the true path. At the top, okay, we have our alchemical connection. We have the alchemical connection. Those of us who choose to evolve into the alchemical connection, this is not an easy path. It looks like a star like the rising sun, like Sister Dawn, if you um, listen to the last reading, okay? Sister Dawn. And then we have Sister Dust, okay? The rune, the energy rune is pointing downward. And what I, I what came through for that was descend into own manifestations of the mind. Now, both energies, because here's another thing in the new age community, we get, we get obsessed with ascending, ascending. Oh, I'm ascending. I'm ascending I'm like this. We're going upward. Okay. But as above, so below you go up, you're going to go, you're going to go down. So why not be in this space of just openness and all potentiality in this space in between, in between the dawn, in between the dust. Remember Sister Day? Right? All this open space. You have to be able to, to go between the dawn and the dust, that, that energy, the, the beginning and the end. Okay? You have to see where you're vibing at. What, what is your current? What is the current? What is your currency? Ask yourself this. Each human, we have our energy vortex or electromagnetic field. We like to believe, okay, that everything outside of ourselves is affecting us. That we have no power, no say, because we have a slew of experiences that have taken place in our past. 
in our dawn that we carry into our day, okay, and we take to the grave. We take to, we, it, 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 we bury it with us to dust, right? We don't allow ourselves to expand out of that. We think everything outside of ourselves controls us. That's what we're told, literally. But going and taking, er, going within and taking accountability and responsibility for your core belief systems, for your energy vortex, your thinking, your feeling, and your physicality. The mind, the heart, the body, taking accountability for all three and become a master of all three, you can dive in between these, these spaces. Know when to be the, the alchemist, okay? The, alchem the, the, the tuning into the alchemical connection. And then we have this energy below. So again, I, I want to really try not to say, oh, well, those of you who, go, who make this decision will happen and those of you who go to the right will happen. That's part of this, that old paradigm, that split, that division, which there is a separation. But even in this separation, we're still all part of the whole. So what if separation is the illusion and the truth is actually just this open space, this open blank space. A lot of us are operating in where you see the room that's the, the energy room that's pointing downward, all the arrows are pointing down. We feel like a foot on our face, okay, or a foot on our neck, forcing us to believe, forcing us to go to, to, to play out the roles. And then we have some people who are you know, in that very ascent, ascending type of space. I am ascending, I'm evolving, I'm better than them. I'm better than that person over there because I have this amount of awareness and I know this. So I'm ascending and everyone else is lost and confused. That's also an illusion. You have to be very careful. Because just when you think you're evolving, <laughs> you could be going the opposite direction. If you experience the high, you experience the low. So find the, the damn middle ground. Be neutral. Neutrality is key here. Because any experience that one desires, you will also experience the opposite of that. So if you're, I remember one um, uh, energy worker, she was a wise woman. She was older, way older than me. She was in her 70s, I believe. And she told me, she goes, it's, it's like a clock. You know, it's like you, it's like that 12 o'clock in your life, you, you have uh, incredible highs. And then as that hand turns, it hits that, that three o'clock and then things just start kind of going south. And then at six o'clock is like your dark night of the soul. But then you move into the nine that hand and you're like, things are improving. And then you move back up to the 12. So it's being in that space of neutrality, being in that an awareness that, that everything has its moment. And I feel that once you tune into the mind body or mind heart body and become the master of your own energy vortex, strengthen your energy vortex, You'll be able to direct your currency. You see the currency, this, this river. Because I see a river. I see a flow of energy in this open space, in this sigil. What is your currency? You can say, oh, my currency is, is you know, my money. My money in the bank. <clears throat> that, that's not further from the truth. I don't know what to tell you. No, that's not your currency. What do you use? What are your tools that you use to manipulate the energy around you? What frequencies do you use? Oh, well, I, I burn sage. I get my crystals. 
No, 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 no. Or burn my essential. No, no, no. All those things are beautiful. What is it within you that you use in your currency? I'm not talking about just the physical things that we use in, in our spiritual practices. Because you, everything, everything physical, every every spiritual tool we use outside of ourselves is an extension of us. We are that. We are the crystal. Calcium phosphate, okay? That's our bones. That's our skeletal system. We are the essential oils. We are the sages and the palo santos. We are the fire, the water, the wind, the earth, the ether. So what currencies, what frequencies do you use to manipulate what is within you? And that is the reading. Um, so in conclusion, thank you so much for tuning in to Runes of Silver Tree. Um, please be out uh, on the lookout um, for more um, messages from Source. And um, yeah, I, I, I feel really good about this reading today, guys. Um, again, please check out SLBRTR, my music channel, and also Seeds of Silver Tree will be up and running November 1st, um, the month of my arrival day. Um, it is my birthday month. Um, so yes, I'm incredibly excited. Thank you for tuning into the Red Serpent energy and for feeling the messages. If you have any questions, please comment below. Um, if you like a private reading for free, I do not charge. I do not charge for energy readings. I don't do this. Um, I don't, source has not guided me to do so. Um, please let me know. And, um, yeah, I... Sincerely wish you a wonderful day. May this message find you well and whole. And remember, as always, embrace supreme love and guidance. Evolve your human being and expand your consciousness. <laughs>